Become a channel member and support the content. You also get access to exclusive videos. You'll get an emote next to your name in the comments. The link for that can be found next to the subscribe button or in the description. And if you'd rather get your coins direct rather than roll the dice with FIFA points, head to u7buy.com and at checkout, use the code TVM for a discount. The link can be found down below. What is going on guys, Tim here, welcome back to a brand new video and a player review that I'm sure many of you don't really care about, but I do. My favourite player of all time, Yari Littman, and have to pick him up every single FIFA and I have to play with him and find out whether this is the FIFA that he is the best card. You know what I mean? Like you, you get some FIFAs where certain cards are just not usable and then you get other FIFAs where they are overpowered or just very usable in general. This Yari Lippman and card, this FIFA, was a reasonably good viable option because his long shots are not bad. He does have a finesse shot trait. He's not the slowest player in the world. And you can get away in this FIFA with a secondary CM being in and around the same quality as Yari Lippman. Now, I would rather have someone who can defend, but uh, when you're playing, try and squeeze out the fun and not really trying to, like, play competitively so if you go into foot champs games thinking i'd rather just use some really like some players that i just want to use rather than the meta i'm not saying that i'm not going to be using the meta because he's, he's in like the most meta team ever but i try and play with a couple of players here or there that i just want to use and not players that i feel like i have to use yari lipmanin is definitely a player that i think if you use him you either love him in real life which there aren't that many like i'm not saying there aren't many fans of him but there's not that many people who would choose to play him the other people of course then are the ones who have packed him in an icon pack and you feel the need to play him because he's like one of the only icons you've got in your club he's very very cheap he's between 210 and 230 thousand coins on pc he's actually 280 i bought him for 240 uh that's a good deal uh, i'm not going to lose any money on him theoretically if i do ever decide to sell him although on the road to glory he is now the player that I've decided to use until the end of the game. He will literally feature in every team that I build between now and the end of the game. Is he good? Uh, I mean, kind of, but not really. Uh, watch the, the rest of the review to find out exactly what I mean. But uh, four-star weak foot is good. Three-star skill moves is disappointing. I think he should have four-star, four-star, to be honest. Medium, medium work rates is about fair. Uh, doesn't have a unique body type, which is a shame. The average body type's not terrible, but it would be really nice if they did unique body types for all icons. And then, of course, his stats, they're good in some cases, you know, like ball control, composure, reactions. His short passing is decent with his vision, positioning and finishing, and volley's all very good. Like I said, the team I've got him in, it is somewhat meta. The reason Gomez is there is not because I like to use Gomez. I actually prefer to use Van Dyke. However... I wanted chemistry to Pope, so that's why he's there. I don't use Pope, by the way, often. Uh, I just packed him and thought I'd do a little review on him, so you can look out for that tomorrow, or later, whichever one I decide. But either way, uh, I don't use uh, I don't use Pope and Gomez. You just put it that way, I use Van Dijk and Allison. Not that that's much better, but it is still different. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Now, Lippmanen is and was used as a CM, I tried to use him to create as much as I possibly could and trying to pass it out to the wings, whether that be over the top uh, or whether it be on the floor. I was trying to... I mean, it's difficult to play with Yari Littman and how he would play in real life, right? Because you can't just stand there and wait for something to happen and then sort of play a really good killer pass because the passing in this game just doesn't allow you to do that. Like, this is what Littman is good at doing in real life and is what he's good at doing apparently in FIFA now and again. He's playing a good ball into Dalglish, who plays a good ball into Ronaldo. Look at this pass from, from Ronaldo. Oh my god, that is insane. And then a great finish. But what a pass backwards for Dalglish from Ronaldo. My opponent here uh, had, I think, just given up or whatever. It was only like five minutes in, but he'd given up. But I thought I'd go for goal from the edge just to see what his long shots were like. And turns out... His long shots are probably, or probably is the best feature of the card, actually. That and the composure, I really liked his long shots. He does have a finesse shot trait, lovely lateral heel-to-heel -heel flick, and a great goal, really, from distance. Really enjoyed that one. But he does have the finesse shot trait with 88 long shots. Okay, you do need to realistically boost that up a little bit to get a little bit more out of him. I've got an engine on him. It's how I bought him. I'm not convinced that that's the chem style that I want to keep on him. At the moment, it is. I didn't have really like, many complaints. So I don't think it's um, 
detrimental to the card or anything. The problem I had there with the finishing was that I took an extra touch and I shouldn't have. If After you took that touch there, or I took the touch there, I should say, I should have played it back across goal. I didn't. My fault. I'm fully aware of that now. Uh, look at that. Composure and ball control. Not very good dribbling, but although with a chem style does get 91 dribbling. Good effort off the bar. And that's the kind of thing you can expect from him, really. Nice composed play, good passing. Doesn't really bust a gut to get forward unless you tell him to. Like, every single run that he's making, I'm telling him to make that run. And the reason I'm telling him to make the run, great goal from him there, is because I want him to get involved. In the end, I did move him up to Cam. I probably will play him as a CM, but for the review purposes, I moved him up to Cam, and I was trying to get... Um, Trying to, just trying to get him involved, really, trying to get him to create chances, trying to get him to score goals. He's really good in front of goal. Uh, he's only missed one chance that I can remember, and that was my fault. Like I said, I took one touch too many, and then the angle was too acute, and he was on his weaker side. So I sh what I should have done was either played it across or not taken that extra touch. However, his finishing in general, I am a big fan of it. I think he's very, very good in front of goal. Doesn't really miss that many chances. Very composed. So if you do get under pressure and you need to play a pass out of danger, you can do that. And you're going to see a great example of composure right here. So Varane plays it to Ronaldo, pokes it back to Varane. Somehow Varane gets the ball of dreams into Lippmannen. Stop and then bang. That is composure personified because he literally just stopped it to take all of the pace out of it and still managed to score. It was a finesse shot as well because he does have that trait. So you can bend it outside of the post and bring it back in. It's a it's a card that I had a lot of fun with and a card that I, I don't regret buying and someone that I'm more than happy to play the rest of FIFA with. And I think, you know, if it was like Paul Scholes or anything, he played exactly the same way, for example. No, I wouldn't feel the same because I'm not a massive fan of Paul Scholes in real life. Like, you know, like he's a Man United player. I'm a Liverpool fan. It's one of those like, yeah, I appreciate the quality, but I don't have any emotional attachment to him. When it comes to Yari Itmanen, I do. He used to play for Liverpool and I used to watch him a lot growing up. Seen him in real life as well. And I just like my favorite player of all time, like I said. So playing with him in game, it's going to feel a little bit different. And he's going to feel a little bit better for me. I think there's a lot of things that let him down. The fact that he's not very quick, his mobility isn't the best. Running with the ball isn't exactly a joy. And there are a few other things here or there. He's just one of those, like, it's a 210,000 coin player that you can probably get for like 10k, 20k on the market in someone else. But for me, and as someone who you know really likes Yari Lippmann in real life, I think this is a, a, a nice card to use. I am looking forward to the moments coming out. Maybe I will upgrade to that. Maybe I won't. I'm not quite sure yet. But I think for someone who's looking for a bit of fun with a player that you like watching in real life, Yari Lippmann can be that guy. But otherwise, not a player I would recommend picking up because he just doesn't move well enough in game, unfortunately. Let me know what you think of this in the comments section down below. Do you like a player in the game that isn't necessarily very good, but you like watching him growing up or whatever? Uh, it would be interesting to read through those comments. Subscribe to the channel for new and here, of course, and until the next time, goodbye. Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.